Hello guys, today we're going to go over calculating finance charge and finding the new balance using the average daily balance method. So we have this problem. A table depicting Mr. Winston's credit card statement is shown below. His card uses the average daily balance method and a monthly periodic rate and an APR of 17%. Calculate the finance charge, which is inclusive of new purchases. This just means that these stuff over here will also be included in our finance charge these stuff um, and the new balance okay so we have a lot of terms here so i'm just going to define them for us um the new balance is just um your balance for the next month so your balance in this month is seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars your new balance is just going to be equal to your finance charge your finance charge this charge you're going to first have to add your previous balance previous balance previous balance plus finance charge, plus any um, purchases, purchases, minus any deposit. So that's your new balance. So in this case, our, uh, and then our finance charge, to calculate our finance charge, let me call it, call it our finance charge. Our finance charge is just going, is just the cost to borrow money. That's what finance charge stands for, cost to borrow money. And to calculate it, Money. And to calculate our finance charge, we will, let me just write this down. Our finance charge is equal to our, um, our average daily balance, average daily balance, daily balance, times by the interest which we have to pay on it, times by the interest which we have to pay on it. And the interest which we have to pay on our um, average daily balance is going to be our APR of 17% over 12. So our MPR, our monthly periodic rate, is equal to 0 0.17 over 12. That's the interest which we're going to have to pay on our average daily balance. So to calculate the average daily balance, we just take the sum of the daily balances divided by the number of days. So this number over here divided by this number over here. And that is equal to approximately 7,423.55 times by our interest, which is just 0 0.17 over 12, because remember, it's compounding every month. So that is equal to approximately 0 0.01417. So now if we multiply these two together, we can, we'll have our finance charge. So 7423 times 0 0.01417. Our finance charge is equal to approximately 105.18 dollars. This is our finance charge. So now to calculate our new balance, let me also start color coding for new balance. To calculate our new balance, let me zoom out a bit. New balance. Our new balance is going to equal our previous balance, which is $7,250. Plus, our new balance is just a new amount, which we owe to the bank, by the way. So we have to add that finance charge, the cost to borrow money, plus our finance charge. So this is plus 105.18 plus our purchases. So we have a $300 purchase here, a $30 purchase here. So plus 300 plus 30. And we put $320 into the bank. So we can subtract 320. And our new balance comes out to be, let's do this, 7250 plus 105.18 plus 330. 300 plus 30 minus 320. Our new balance is 7,000, $7,365.18. Sometimes they will give you a problem like this, but they but it will not be inclusive of new purchases. In that case, you just ignore these new purchases when you calculate your finance charge. Oh uh, yeah, thank you for listening and goodbye. I hope you found this video useful.